Well, We Day is an incredible event. We bring tens of thousands of student leaders together. It's a free event, and there are stadiums across the country. We do five We Days across Canada this year, and we bring some of the greatest social justice leaders of our time and some of the greatest entertainers of our time, and we have this incredible conversation with these 20,000 young people at a time to learn about these issues. But the great thing about We Day is not just an event. It becomes then a year-long educational initiative whereby young people take this issues back, and they do one local and one global action within their schools that's then measured to create tangible change. So to have this one-time event that brings together you know, from Vancouver to Toronto, from bilingual in Montreal, from Winnipeg to Waterloo, Canada, and you know these tens of thousands of youth in each venue, but also millions who are watching the broadcast, to have a conversation and a cause-agnostic platform about the most pressing issues of our time, from homelessness to poverty, from bullying to the drought in East Africa, to have a conversation and then to activate on it. And these young people, through We Day, have logged over a million volunteer hours of service last year. You know, I think Canada has to be you know, proud of its sons and daughters as young people for this accomplishment. And that generation who's growing up through that We Day and the year-long program in the schools and the curriculum resources, we hope that they're going to cast a ballot that they'll become active citizens when it comes to their consumption choices, or the careers they pick, the next generation of philanthropists, active volunteers, the ripple effects to raise a generation of socially conscious and committed young people, they're enormous. And so for us, We Day is, you know, I think something incredibly proud as Canadians that, that this really is the heart and soul of what we are as a country.